Hello folks, welcome to the channel. Rob here with Lobot Dyes. Today we are just working on this cell bed. I'm going to do some chameleon cells in this cell bed. Um, yeah, normally I do a, uh, a lengthwise setup for the bed, um, but I've found doing this you can get some, uh, some really cool effects. We're going to be dragging black over this. Um, and what happens when you drag, uh, you know, sort of uh, across the colors like this is they all sort of drag into one another. You get the black over the top, but they all drag into one another. Um, so you get uh, quite a bit of mixing and I've got the lines very close together here, um, which also is going to promote uh, mixing from many colors into each other as we pull across here. Uh, so yeah just gonna be your standard chameleon stuff if you want if you have any uh, you know if you want to know about my process for chameleon cells check out the chameleon cell video that I put up first uh, and that'll get you started this is just more of a variation on that um, so that video will have all the details for that and I'll have a little card up in the corner uh, of the screen here you can click on to check out that and that that goes over uh, basically everything you need to know for that. But right now we're just gonna start with uh, what I got here. Um, so I got my black and I'm just gonna start at the top. I should mention that my goal for this is to get as many different colors in each individual cell as possible. That was my goal setting up. And I threw a little bit of like every different color I had in this, which is always fun to do. Disadvantage to doing something like this is this bed will almost certainly not be reusable. Um, it's going to be so mixed after this first bed that uh, you probably won't want to use it after this. But the one result we get should be pretty sweet. Okay, we've got our black pullover. Now I'm just gonna do my uh, standard honeycomb on this with uh, Afro pick dipped in three in one silicone. Try it with the left hand so you can get it. Thank you. 
you can already see these colors are absolutely nuts. Those are looking spectacular. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about this because that's looking better than I even thought it would. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it under the heat lamp. Although it looks like it's doing pretty good on its own. Um, I'm gonna give it five minutes without heat and then uh, come back and see how it's developed and then uh, if it's not doing what I like, although I really like it so far, then I'll uh, add some more heat. Okay, so that's five minutes, no lamp. Looks pretty cool, but uh, we're gonna blow it out with the lamp just to get them all bumping into each other and fully honeycombed. Um, so, let's let her rip. Give it another five minutes right under the lamp. And uh, my lamp has a hot spot and I rotate it over the areas I want most of it. There we go. Well, that's five minutes with the lamp. <laughs> I think this is pretty spectacular stuff. Uh, yeah, I love this. Um, so, shuffle this all over here. I have a six claw zone that's gonna go in there. Um, yeah, I don't know how deep this is. I didn't make it all that deep, so I'm sticking with the zone. I could probably, I could probably stick something with some dome in there, but uh, you know, we'll just play it safe because I, I really want this to turn out well. Um, yeah, I'll drop this in and uh, you guys can see the results right away. All right, um, and if you want to know about uh, how I heat these things, uh, I have a video that I'll put a card on the video here right now, uh, and that goes over how I heat my discs uh, to get them, uh, you know, the best color transfer. Okay, the result. Pretty sweet. Um, there is a lot of brown in this actually though. Um, there, it, there's like, you know, a ton of different colors in there, but because we have every color sort of mixing together, pulling over, uh, you end up with some brown. And that's okay because I still think it looks awesome, but uh, 
I think I might try spacing them out, spacing the colors out a little more next time and see what happens. Instead of three or four rows, I might try two and, uh, you know, see how, mu how much brown I get then. But I'm going to try this again shortly, I think. So, yeah. Um, if you like this video, found it interesting, leave a like on the video, uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff, leave a comment if, uh, you know, there's something you want to talk about, or something you liked, something you didn't like, something you want to suggest, um, yeah. Until next time, happy dying, see you later.